to the NBA, NBA on 2K, 2K Sports, Sports tonight, the Los Angeles Lakers swearing off against the Heat in Miami. For the, the Heat, they're hoping to start turning around their luck. They'd, They'd love, love to get, get back, back on a winning, winning track. track. Seven, Seven losses, losses in their last eight games. games. That, that is not going to get, get it done, and they know it. And guys, guys a quote from, from Kobe Bryant. Bryant. He, he once said, Hard-working players don't, don't like lazy players. players. Jimmy, Jimmy Butler, Butler seems, seems to share, share that sentiment, sentiment as well. <laughs>
Carter Williams, Williams with the pass to Miritich. Walsh against, against Brown. Brown. Defense, defense right, right on him. him. Still, Still looking, looking for, for his first make after, after that miss. miss. He's, He's over two. And it's from, from the time, time on the assist, the assist by Shea. Shea's got five assists assist tonight. Some, Some tough, tough offensive success. success. They, they want to turn, turn around. around. Yeah, yeah, right, right now, you, you just, just need a bucket to get some momentum. LeBron against Bridget. Six on the shot clock. No good, good for Ross. And here's, here's Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. They're, They're on a 17 with the five run. And he really hits, hits the button. The button. And, and they are starting, starting to pull away here. here. The, the shots continue, continue to fall. fall. Yeah, yeah, I agree, agree with you. Big, big run, run taking, taking place, place right, right now. And it, it looks, looks to be the beginning, the beginning of the end. Time call the heat. Trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something. Anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Quickly, we're going to have the 2K leaderboard for a look at the top three throw shooters among point guards. Shea, number one. Well, he's the guy you want on the free throw line when it matters. I mean, he's a leader and as consistent as they, as they get. get. Well, automatic is the word that comes to mind when you're talking about his free throw shooting. There are a lot of terrific foul shooting point guards, he's right at the top of the list. Los Angeles leading by 14. And, and the 6'7 point man, Terrence Ross, with the number 8 pick out of Washington. Well, you know, the shooting in the league can go to the Ross. Phenomenal. I mean, I think the defensive end is where he can solidify his game and really improve. Um, he's, he's got, got all, all the tools, tools, though, to be an excellent two-way player. player. Wow, 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 he, he got, got whacked on that, that with shitty be much debate there. there. Blatant contact, straightforward call, simple. But he's shooting their first free throws of the evening. And, and it's, it's been an average year, really, at, really at the free throw, throw line for this crew, only around 75%. Guys, guys their free throw, free throw shooting has slipped a bit since last year. But not really to the point where they should be overly concerned about we are all about the young basketball players in this country. The good ones playing in the 80s system. Is that the best way to develop talent for the NBA? It's one of the better ways because the competition level is quite good across the regions and throughout the country with these AAU teams. I think there's some great AAU programs and some tremendous benefits to participate in the AAU basketball. Some things are better than others with it. Overall, I think it's pretty solid. After Jay, there's the three. Ross tracks the board. And so it's Ross. He brings it up for Miami. Down by 12. The Lakers beat them last time when these two teams met in Los Angeles. It wasn't even close in their last matchup. And in their offense, it just wasn't ready to compete at that level. I really, I really think, Greg, they've, they've got, got to find a way to produce easier, easier baskets. I mean, whether they, they do it by running, running in transition or getting, getting to the free throw line, they, they don't, don't want to repeat of that past performance. No, no one here out of the bio as he likes to go. And he gets that one to go, go off the front line. Really, really hard to say, say enough about how good Carter Williams is at finding the open man. man. He's got an excellent vision. Just, just a nice feel for what they're trying to get done in their offense. Defensively, giving up far too many, many open, open rhythm looks. And, and to battle back, back they've got, got to shore up the defense. defense. I mean, there's, there's no, no other way, way to come, come back from, from a deficit unless you, you play, play good defense. I'm about to hook kicks to the hurt. This is the Ross. Oh, 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 oh. Some solid defense from Brown. Not really, really his, his best, best order as, as far as scoring, but let's, let's see if he can eventually get, get back, back on track. Boy, well, as he put his foot on the pedal, pedal here this quarter, he's, he's doing, doing a terrific job in, in terms, terms of leading their offense. Ah, here's Carter Williams, the Rod J. Carter Williams is the best in the heritage. Williams. Out of the bio, kicks the button. Good. This is a part of this game. A powerless mid-range shoot. 
Defensively, you've got to close on him fast. From deep three-point range, the Lakers rebound. They were the best of the game. It's Brown on the win. Lakers can the ball around now. On deep. And James gets it to go on the assist by Brown. And that's now 18 points for Jay. The Heat trail by 18. That's the Ross. Back to Carter Williams. Butler in the corner. Shot clock at five. Miami needs to get a shot. Ross for the three. He can't get that one. And the Lakers going the other way, way now. And he's, he's been way off the mark this quarter. quarter. It's been a got, got that, that one up quick. Shea's got, got 21 in the game. game. And, and off to an incredible start here early from long range. Lining it up from outside. Hard to keep up with this. And so on the book, Here's Brown plenty of space. Good. And it's Shea picking up the assist. Brown's got 10 points. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Greg, you're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Impressive scoring here. Under Williams finds Ross. Butler on the way. Covered by Siakam. Just for the shoot. And it's Butler missing. Clearly the defense could have been better there, guys, but he also needs to convert that. And LeBron throws it down. The slaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive tip. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with punt blazing. Those are chances. Almost always you can rely on him to get two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of the way. And there's the foul it's on Jim Brown. That's his first foul. A different look for Miami. Winslow's check in for Jimmy Butler, and Dion Waiters subbed in for Terrence Ross. And the Lakers also making a change. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Pascal Siakam. And that's how the Bucs Miami will retain position. Lance Stevenson checked in for the Heat. And then for Los Angeles, Thompson's checked in for Davis. Robertson comes in for LeBron. And it's Contavious Caldwell-Pope in for Jalen Brown. They get it back, and tonight he sends it right off the glass. One on one, fast break. Back to Jay. Jay. And they double up Jay. On the way, Robertson. Launches it. it. And another three for the Lakers. Yeah, yeah they built up this lead three points at a time. And I like the strategy. It's a great strategy. You bury those threes early and hold them up the inside for them later on. And it's up on the lead. Able to retain possession of the lead. And with a quick break in the action, here's some numbers for Shea. First in scoring, first in assists, and he's first in the lead in steals per game. Just an incredibly aggressive and tenacious defender. And his scoring abilities are just so far out of sight. Number one overall right now. No one's been able to slow him down or even come close. Adebayo passes to Winslow. And no one calls it a great defense or a poor offense either way. They're limiting their score. Greg, the bottom line is, they're ahead on the scoreboard, and that's all that matters. Excellent all-around performance so far, hence the big lead. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage of both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. Here's up a mile. 11 point in his last game. And again, it's the heat missing. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, yeah sensational is a really good word for it, Greg. They're tearing it up on the glass. They've, They've been looking at a sick offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. The addition of Stevenson. The hands are dropped. And it's good on the way up. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Jay left side. To the middle. It's going by the mail. Winslow against Thompson. Here's the mail. Good enough for the six for Winslow. Out of the mail, he's got a second bucket in the night. 
Well, he's, he's really, really feeling, feeling it right now. Shooting a high percentage, percentage to start this game. Shade finds him. And that one's in. He's only missed three of 13. Well, I think, I think that's, that's what you want to see. I mean, Shade not settling for a spot of jumper, but driving the ball and scoring on the move. And stolen by Shade. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. And Kuzma slams it in. And, and I, I think, think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight. Just, just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively turning into, into easy points. Stevenson passes to all the bike. And here's for three. And by the Lakers. Get get Shade finds in. in. And easy two, two points on the way up. Shea's got 28. Boy, for Shea, it's, it's been one great play after another tonight. They cannot keep him in check. Outside Miritic. From past the arc. Offensive rebound heat. And here are the Lakers. Down low. And that's going to be a travel. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Made two and missed two at the line tonight. And that one misses. Well, it seems the guards are rebounding now more than ever. Uh, what, what do you, you make of that trend? trend? You, you know, know what, Kevin? I think it's a function of how the game is played. More and more teams play small ball, where they really don't have a big guy out there or a traditional center out there. You may have guards and wings, and oftentimes your tallest guy might be 6'8". So it makes it important for guards and everybody to rebound the ball. So I think you see more guards getting more rebound because of team playing small ball as a function of the three-point shots and importance in the game. So the Lakers five right now. They got into the hits. LeBron James is up there with Pascal Siakam. Then it's Jay. And it's Brown into the shooting guard. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Jay in the last game against the Celtics was outstanding. He's scored an amazing number of points, and his passing was just incredible. He piled up an impressive number of assists. His numbers were off the charts. He was unguardable, and he knew it. And he took advantage of it. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, David. It was a special night for him. The team really fell off his energy. Yeah, the catalyst for that win, it, it was an effort that I'm sure he's hoping to replicate tonight. Yeah, you know, all indications are that he feels good coming into this. Feels confident that he can build on that prior success. Just five on the clock. From 20 feet out, they get it back. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't get the ball. That's a shot he has to continue to take. The assist totals have just continued to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. And Greg, definitely, that's one of the reasons they're in front right now. And the foul called on Shea. That is his first foul of the game. Butler against Siakam. It's stolen by Davis. Active hands prevented an easy bucket that time. And it's good for two. That's 12 points for Jalen Brown. Well-rounded effort, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Carter Williams feeling it out a bit. Master Ross. He kicks it to Butler. Five on the clock. The pass to Carter Williams. Trying to get over to Zeritic. Carter Williams can't get him to go. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win 
a little bit more. Right on top. And another assist. And he has put forth one of the greatest passing seasons I have ever witnessed. You need both game after game, he's carried the team with his playmaking and has a chance to catch up to the third spot for most assists in a year. Shea with a bucket. Shea's got six here in this quarter. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Winslow finds Carter Williams. He moved the ball around. Ron against Ross. Outside Butler. Up the end of Ron. Rebound by the Lakers. They just got this lead from the Lakers. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. And after that great first quarter of a three-point range, he has finally come back to earth. And here's Meritage from beyond the arc. The Lakers with the rebound. Davis has got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. And Siakam with the basket on the assist by Jay. Siakam's got his second bucket of the game to go. And it's Carter Williams with the ball for Miami. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Washington. They'll face the Wizards. And that'll be game one of a four-game road trip. Ross with it. Jack Carter Williams shoots. Miami don't feel that time either. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one, Greg. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Kicks it to Winslow. The run is a nice team. Boy, you, you can, can just see, see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. You know, you guys know the Nines has a rough patch here. I think, I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get, get a good shot. shot. And a miss there on the triple. Each trip down to become more important. And you need to string some successful offensive possessions together and play tough D. Under Williams, Bunch Butler. Misses the group. And for the Lakers, they're shooting 65% outstanding offensive display from them. Davis, and it's Davis finishing off. It's just so resourceful as a player. Davis gets the job done inside in all sorts of ways. And that's one of them right there, crashing the offensive glass, getting that second chance bucket. And guys, at this point in his career, Anthony Davis just entering his prime. Crazy to think when you look at what he's already accomplished thus far. No good for Ross. You know, after making one three in the first quarter, he's had none here so far in the second. Here's Carter Williams, and Davis pulls it down. Davis has got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Man, he's just pulled a hairy Houdini in this quarter. He's completely disappeared. But three hands it from downtown. Shea's got 39. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. They need a bucket in a big way here to engage the conference. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Meritage is game, guys. He's tailor-made for today's NBA. He's a sharp shooting big man who really helps his team space the floor. And new group in for the Heat. George Jarecko checked in for Jim Butler. And Steve Zee comes in for Justice Winslow. Waiters is checked in for Terrence Ross. And Heroes subbed in for Michael Carter Williams. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Bradley's checked in. Shea outside. Back to James. There's the triple. And Shea with the three. Shea's got 42 in the game. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their force today. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. And so it's the Los Angeles Laker. Thank you, Kevin, here with Contavious Caldwell Pope. And Contavious, thank you for that interview. And we'll see you back here at.
wasn't too much drama in the first half, half but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Are you look at Shea in this game, he has been everywhere. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. Yeah, he's got that lock-in look in his eyes tonight, and he's not going to start taking it easy. I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. Well, we've got a moment to set the floor, brought to you by Gatorade All Field Out for the second half. On the court for the Heat, they've got Jimmy Butler. Terrence Ross is out there with Michael Carter Williams. Then it's Bam Adebayo and Mirotic in the power forward position. On the wing, Shea. Here's Davis, and Davis throws it down. How about the leaping ability of Davis? Easily gets off the ground to throw it down. And he's a quick jumper and decision maker. And the minute play as the second half gets going. Carter Williams kicks to Ross. Time out call for the Heat. Mark, you were so good at such an early age in your basketball career. At what point did you personally realize just how far the game could take? You know, it really resonated with me, Kevin, I think, um, at a summer basketball camp in Miami, Ohio, when some of the better campers, high school campers, were asked to play with the college guys at night. And then during pickup games in my hometown of Cleveland with some of the Cleveland Cavaliers, Jim Jones and the late Terry Furlow and Mike Mitchell, and to be able to compete somewhat with those guys at 15 and 16 years of age and having them encourage me to keep going and that I'd have a chance to do what they were doing at the time, which was play for a Now here's Carter Williams, guarded closer. Miami again turning it over. And now we're going to look at the year to year scoring output and how it has been trending for Davis. Yeah, and looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. But he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. Six to the three pointer. Shea's got 47 points. Man, he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sidelines. Well, Kevin, Jimmy Butler has made several All Star teams, but he remains single minded in pursuit of his bigger goal. Butler said, I just want to win a championship. That's all that matters. I didn't do it in high school, I didn't do it in college. If I don't win it here, then I'll go to the 50 and overly someday. But I got to win a championship at some stage. Kevin? I like that attitude. Thank you, DA. Here's Charlie Williams. And he can't stop the run as he misses. He is single handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And the Heat call time here. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. And in a tough league like the NBA, here's where Miami sits right now in the league ranking. And, and you, you look, look at their opponents' points per game. Now, some of that can be influenced by pace of play, but I still like what I'm seeing from them defensively. Getting stops a big part of how they win games. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. And the foul call by Anthony Davis. That'll be his second foul of the game. Kyle Kuzma is checked in for the Lakers. Now, Miritic, they've been leaning on him for a decent chunk of their offense. He's averaging over 15 points a game. And comes back on the shot, so he'll be shooting for the jersey. Now, let's check out and highlight the best defenses in the NBA. The Lakers, number one. Great defenders, both individually and collectively. I mean, you can tell they really love accepting that challenge. They can stifle you at that end of the floor. The Syracuse alum, Carter Williams, a combo guard with really outstanding court vision and excellent speed. Right wing. Shea outside. 
Prana Chan. He is good from long range. Prana Chan had 18 points in the game. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And those turtles, they sure do have it quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. Under Williams, this is to Ross. Outside Butler, looking to end his total spell. Just trying to shoot. Fires from the deep. Drops it in the train. Six points for the challenge, Ross. Finally, they get one in the drive. That's one of their first four here in the third. Max again from distance. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. The Heat have gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming in the line with the break. Carter Williams with the pass to Butler. And Davis sends it back. Well, I tell you what, Davis uses his line so well. I mean, a defensive stalwart who holds his ground. And because of his timing and length and athleticism, he's an excellent shot block. And Shane throws it down. Hey, whatever adjustments they made at halftime, they are working to perfection. You know, they came out of the locker room revved up the gas pedal and haven't slowed down yet. Now, here's Meritich. And down to Bayo. Pops in the way for two. He's got it. He's going all he can so far, but they still find themselves trouble. Here's Davis. And another assist for him. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. But he had to run two or seven from the field in the third. That leaves room for improvement, sir. Now the Lakers on the break. Shea with the ball. The shot's good from Kuzma. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Lakers. The activity level defensively, I've really been impressed with it. They've been in attack mode on the defensive end. They haven't wasted time getting the ball on the court tonight either. And it's resulted in a lot of fast break points. Carter Williams with the pass to Alabama. He dishes it to Ross. And it's taken away by Brown. Here's Davis. Davis. Another assist. Every game here, Chris Hall is getting higher and higher. Exceptional playmaking from him all year long. And he is now even for the third most assists in a single NBA season. What a year he's had. Outside Butler. Back to Ross, find the shoot. From deep three-point range, a rebound by the Lakers. And positionless basketball on the range. And Kyle Kuzma really fits that mold. Is he a three? Is he a four? I don't know, but he gets buckets. You know, I think the effort on defense there has everything to do with why he missed that shot. Well done. Now here's Carter Williams, covered by Shea. Carter Williams kicks to Ross. Pass to Butler. Shot from the wing. And he has down the jump. And very white footed is Kuzma. Moves well for his size. You know, kind of a tweener in terms of build, but he has the ability to light up that scoreboard, something every team can use. Shea finds in. Here's Davis. He scores a six bucket from the floor with that one. He's shot the ball 11 times. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got, they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, another position, another assist. Up he climbs on that historic ladder. The assists are endless with him. His great performance all year is now the third highest assist total ever in a single NBA season. Uh, this is incredible stuff. Here's Butler. Offensive rebound. Is it again? And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Well, you got to stay grounded on that pump fake. Butler really effective again in the defender. Thirty-two seconds left to play on the third. 
all for run. Here are no good. And it's Bradley with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. Takes the three. And Shea good for three. Shea's got 59 points. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. When they needed a basket, they've turned to him. Here's Hero. One second left. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead, and this one may already have been sight. Lakers ahead, just dominating this one. Back at this from the American Airlines Arena. as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. And uh, Miami shooting 27% of the offense is just embarrassing themselves. So for the Lakers right now, they've got Jay, time to cook it for Arthur Thompson. Then it's continuous Caldwell Pope, and it's Bradley in at the two. Pass to Apollo. But there are a lot of factors of free agent which is into selecting the new team that he goes to. What about the factors that aren't basketball for the free agents? Well, I think you could see some of them if you gave it some thought, Kevin. Think about the market size, nightlife for some guys is important, business opportunities when you think about places like Silicon Valley or New York or Los Angeles, season of life for the individual player in terms of his family where he might want to reside after he's done playing. So there are a number of different things that are doing for free agents making moves from one team to the next. Now, did you have family, Clark, when you played the last couple of years in the NBA? We were without children, but it was Rosie and I. We were there for four years, and our family started um, right after I retired. And my only thing going to change here. None checked in. Here's Harper. Or by Jay. Harper, no good. Not pretty. You just, just got to shake off a miss, miss like that. that. It's Bradley on the wing. Back to Jay. Let's it go from deep. Connects again. That's 62 points. 62. Amazing. A remarkable performance from him so far. At the end of Stevenson. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Caldwell Pope and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Yeah, you got to be careful how you defend Caldwell Pope because he's got great speed and he knows how to use it to draw contact. And Caldwell Pope drops them both. Impeccable from the line since halftime. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. Harper kick to Jericho. No oh, good on that one. Los Angeles has gone one or two from three point range here in the fourth. The drive by Shane. And the layup good off the glass. Well, he's filling it up right now. Getting the shots he wants and delivering in a big way. Here's none. Guarded by Brad. After Jericho. Shot to stop the run. I am no good on that time either. For Los Angeles, they've gone two, two or three, three from the, from the field, field to get the fourth quarter started. Shea passes to Caldwell Pope. Back to Shea. Puts up a three. And another three for the Lakers. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. They're exactly right. I mean, those come back to bite you every time, just like it's biting them now. Harper the pass to none. Here's a pull. The pass to none. And he drops him away off the glass. None got his first two points. And with those points, he puts an end to that 10 0 run by the Lakers. To the inside. Kicks it out to the chain. Let's the three fly. That one misses. The Heat shooting only 27% from the field, looking pretty ugly out there. To the paint, here's Harper. 
He can't, can't get, get that, that one to fall. fall. So Los Angeles, Angeles will take, take it the other, other way. way. Ashton is good. good. They'll get a the chance for one more at the line. And, and you know, know that, that right there is a case of Shea knowing how to use his body to not only shield the defender, but to get the and one chance too. Well, here's kind of an interesting uh, perspective question for you. How much of making it to the NBA is talent? Uh, how much of it is the work you put into it? Kevin, if I were to give this a ratio, I would probably say 65% talent, 35% work ethic, because you have to have a level of unique giftedness to be an NBA player. Many can work really hard and not be NBA talent. So I think there's, um, I, I tilt that 65-35 talent to work ethic. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Los Angeles has gone 2 of 5 on three point shots since the end of the third quarter. And again, no good by the Lakers. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just wants space and he puts on it. For Los Angeles, they've gone 4 of 8 in this fourth quarter, shooting at even 50% from the field. Takes a three, and again for three. He has been on the money from deep. Yep, definitely looking to shoot as much as possible. Here's none. He uses the glass to finish away. None he's got for this quarter. I like the play call. Very solid, making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. That quick look, no good that time. For Miami, then gone, 5-11 for the field in the fourth quarter. Here's Stevenson, and that one, good! They're scoring both of those uh, buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Well, his defense rotation, Greg, has been a step slow, and it's really helped him get that ball inside time after time. Wow! What can you say? Here's Harper, covered by Shea. Harper the pass to none. Here's a call. He's off on that one. Good D by Johnson. Shea kicks to Johnson. Fires the three. He got it again. Sensational. And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, GA really taking it to the opposition. Here's none, guarded by Brad Jarecko for three. Good on the three-point shot. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Here's Thompson, and Thompson throws it down. Shea making it look so easy, dropping that nice room service down there. Harper up top, covered by Shea, and the rejection by Anakumbo. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Back to Shea, from deep. Good, that's another bucket. And there it is, 82 points. And this is a game that he will never forget. Stevenson right side, passes it to a pump. Well, take us inside the halftime locker room in the NBA. Well, so players typically just regroup individually. There may be some conversation between the players as a group, but then the coaches will huddle, evaluate what transpired in the first half, what adjustments need to be made, and then they'll communicate that to the team. And it's basically a time to rest and regroup for the players to adjust and strategize for the coaches. Mark, do you think there's any videotape review in there, maybe showing players certain sets, certain schemes? In this day and age, for sure, with the use of iPads and technology, um, if you go back to my time, there was no um, quick turnaround of video in the halftime locker room. Right, right. I do know officials do that, too, in their locker room. You know, passes like that go a long way. Terrific teamwork. Robertson, the pass to Shane. Here's the three. Connects from three-point range. 
and they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. And Greg, it's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Here's Harper. And again, Miami with the triple. Love the assist. I mean, he knew exactly where that bounce pass had to be to create that opportunity. And another basket for the Lakers. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. Miami's won three of five from beyond the arc since the final quarter shot in the door. That's the nine. Here's a call. Down to five on the shot clock. And another basket for Miami. And here's Che. Caruso kicks to Che. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. On the wing, Che. They'll go get another chance. And that's a nice job on the offensive glass there. That, that'll let them work the clock even more. Releases. No good off the back of the rim. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. To be out of position, you can see the frustration on his face. Boy, that's how you take it straight at the defense. Jay with a no-nonsense, straight-line approach. Talk a lot of fans ask us what qualifies as a legal screen versus a moving screen. They feel there's a lot of gray area there. What do you think? Well, I think there is some gray area because the problem you have, one of the problems is the number of veterans out there have become really massive. And now, yep, this will be a coach's challenge. We thought that might happen. Triggering a review of the personal foul. some of the more difficult calls to make. Personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology, Greg. We've seen replay reviews so effectively and involving the coaches by being able to. A challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. And the answer about the review is that the foul was called in error. So they have determined, Greg, to overrule the original call. And guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. Pass to Caruso. Jay High Post. The second chance effort. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. On the inside now, Jay will battle you. He'll fight. He doesn't let contact rattle. And so he hits both. So it's Miami now. Harper with the ball. Now the best to Apollo. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. And the Lakers with possession here. And it's the Lakers ball. They're on a 17 to 7 run. And a wide open look for Shea. Buries it from three point range. And, and for perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at that time. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. And oh, man, to all the Here's none. He's covered by Thompson. Two points. That one goes. None's got six points in the quarter. The Lakers controlling the game. Jay outside. There's 138 left in the game. Again, what an avalanche! He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. Here's Harper. Harper by Shea. Passes it to Akpala. Do you think the NBA should consider expanding the use of replay? I know you personally 
need to slow the game down, but you also want the calls to be correct. Well, it depends on the circumstances, Kevin. Uh, I like the fact that replay is available and it helps enhance the ability of the officials to get calls correct. Expanding the use of replay, though, has to be done very judiciously. There are a couple of areas. Goaltending would be one when you take a look to see if that's the case. But I think flow of game takes priority over trying to get every single call right just because you think technology gives you a chance to do that. And Tristan Thompson gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Here's Harper, covered by Jay. Shoots from 12. Harper, no good. One thing we've seen from these guys is excellent passing. No doubt about it. It's fun to watch the way they're operating as a team right now. They are all in sync. And they double up Jay. Just fine on the clock. That three off the mark. Here we go, one on one. Here's Dunn, and again, the turnover by the Heat. I'm not sure whose fault that was, guys, but they need to get on the same page here. Now Jay. From deep three-point range, from beyond the arc, and then some. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Boy, a fantastic performance. And I'll tell you something, I mean, you get road kill, that's always a challenge in the NBA, no matter what. And they got it done. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about Greg, but they never got it. They sure did. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look. What an efficient performance at both ends. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Hartley. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports.